Guys and welcome back to the channel. It feels like yesterday in 2019 when I first released the New South Wales Blues team coming out that night at my mate Franny's house and I had a thumbnail. I remember Brad Fittler doing this with a microphone. It legit feels like yesterday. There will be a separate video out shortly tonight for the Queensland Maroons team, but we're going to be speaking about the New South Wales Blues squad for Game 1 of Origin, which is next Wednesday, meaning we've got four games of NRL to get through this week. We don't have the full eight. Before this video begins, guys, I will let you know, for the release of Game 2, obviously you saw last year, around this time, around May, I did do an official Entertain House merch. Now, I'll be bringing that merch back. If you still want some of the original designs, we still do have them available, including the standard tee here. I will be keeping the back for the tee, and I will be doing a proper release video. But guys, let me know if you would like a limited State of Origin shirt. I will have a glove and a glove, two gloves close together. I haven't decided the exact perimeter of the gloves. They'll be close together. One will say New South Wales. One will say Queensland. I won't be at game two, but I think because I'm not going to be there, and I want you guys to wear them in your numbers, especially you Queenslanders, to get around it. But guys, let's get into the New South Wales Blues squad. Just to clarify, if you are watching this video and you are fairly new to the channel, I am a Queenslander. As you can see, I was born in Queensland. I have spent most of my life in New South Wales, but I believe that state of origin is where you were born, and I stick by that. So that is why I go for my mighty Parramatta eel, but I am a Queenslander. But let's get into your New South Wales Blues squad. Starting at the back, you've got James Tedesco retaining that fullback position. You can argue that Tom Trevojevic has been in some fantastic form, but I think relying on Tedesco has been a really good decision. I think he's been quiet to start the year, but I thought he had a really good game against the Raiders. His tackle breaks were good. Um, even his, his busts were pretty good as well. So I think he's in for another big game. He always shows on the origin stage just how good James Tedesco is. We have Brian, they have Brian Toto on the wing in jersey number two. Brian Toto gets that spot. He has some crazy run meters this season. Arguably one of the best wingers, if not the best winger in 2021. Very deserved. Congratulations to you, Brian Toto. Number three, Latrell Mitchell. He's back in the Origin Arena. He's been fantastic at fullback. He served a three-week suspension. He had a good game against the Eels, but I don't know if it's the right decision. I guess you would probably put him in the side with a lot of players being on report or injured at the moment, being ineligible to play, um, and probably enough Panthers in there because you, you could probably put Stephen Crichton close to it. But I think it's good that he's gone with Latrell. I think it's... Uh, He's had that experience as well. He's a very experienced player. There is a few players here that are they're going into their first Origin game will have minimal Origin time. Latrell's been there through a few games, so I think it's quite a good choice. The other centre that they've gone with, last time it was Jack Whiten and Clinton Gutherson, so a completely different centre pairing this time with Latrell Mitchell and one of the most, if not the most, informed player in the NRL competition, Tom Trevojevic. Now, Tom Trevojevic, I mentioned that I thought that he, not threw the game away, but he has this belief that Manly can win a premiership this year, and he was trying to not play at his best, but still play good, and he ended up getting picked for Origin, so maybe that theory has gone out the window. I can't wait to see him in Origin, because honestly, I'm very, very scared of just what Tom Trevojevic can do. On the wing, you've got the top try scorer for the year, the fastest man on the planet, Josh Adokar retains his spot in jersey number five. Moving on to the halves, we've got the Penrith Panthers in Jerome Luai making his New South Wales debut. He's been in some great form. I still think that maybe it could have been Cody Walker and Nathan Cleary, in my opinion. Jerome Luai is very deserved, though, so it's a nice choice for Brad Fittler. And Nathan Cleary, how can you argue with that one? He didn't play great against the Bulldogs, but how good has his season been? He's leading the Dally M by four points. Speaking of the Dally M, the voting has now closed for the Dally M. We won't get to see week in, week out who gets those points, but I'd be pretty surprised unless he's suspended or injured if Nathan Cleary doesn't get that medal and stays fully fit. Jersey number eight is the match winner scored by the Knights and the Seagulls last week. 
another person who has some origin experience under his belt. It is Daniel Saifidi for the Newcastle Knight. He's been having a great season, definitely deserves his spot in the New South Wales side. Damian Cook in jersey number nine. I think the experience of Damian Cook's huge, but for me, going off form, I know he had a great game against the Eels, but I'd have to go with Api Corusau. The more I thought about it, Cook is still such a great player, such a good talent, but I've had Corusau in that New South Wales jersey just above him, but you can't have Cook not in the side at all. Moving into jersey number 10. And you've got the lock forward from the Manly Seagulls, Jake Travojevic. Now, Jake Travojevic is a fantastic lock. The one thing for this team that confuses me is Jake Travojevic, Cameron Murray, and Isaiah Yo. You've picked three locks as pretty much front rowers, besides Cameron Murray, who will play in the second row. It didn't really work out for him. He was good there, but it just the ball-playing ability wasn't as good. He was getting less runs. He does a better job at lock. And that's why I would have had maybe maybe Jake Trebojevic in the jersey number 11, Cameron Murray at lock, and Isaiah Yo in the 10. But that's just my opinion. Let me know if you disagree, New South Wales fans. I'd love to know. Tarek Sims in jersey number 12. Now, I think Tyson Frizzell definitely would have been here, but he has gotten injured. Um, I think he also got put on report, so he could serve a suspension as well. If he does, it could be just the one game against the Broncos. Who knows? I mentioned Isaiah Yo. Jersey number 14. I don't think he's been outstanding this season, but again, experience, and it is Jack Whiten from the Canberra Raiders in jersey number 14. Let me know as well, guys. Do you agree that Jack Whiten deserves his spot in the team? Do you think that Cody Walker should be there? I had Cody Walker above Jack Whiten, but Jack is a fantastic player nonetheless. Number 15 is Parramatta Eels. Junior Paulo, he has been a fantastic front rower for plenty of seasons now. I believe he's had three great seasons in a row, two fantastic seasons, and he definitely deserves his spot in origin. Number 16 is Payne Haas. Very disappointed that I'm going to the Dragons and the Broncos, and Payne Haas will not be at this game because he will obviously be in the New South Wales Blues camp. So that's a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, big congratulations to Payne Haas for retaining that spot. Another debutant here, and you've got the Penrith Panthers back rower. I'm a huge fan of this guy. Whether he's origin ready, though, I just don't know yet. We will wait and see how he goes on the big stage under all that pressure. The Penrith Panthers killing it. It's Liam Martin. He slots into that role, not starting there all the time. Obviously, Kirk Capewell, who is going to be playing probably old check soon, but for the Queensland Maroons. Um... I know a few of the Maroons, by the way. I don't know all of them. I haven't had a chance to look at the whole squad. I know Reed Marnie's there. Let's go, Reedy. Anyway, that's for the next video. Jersey number 18, Api Korosau. As I mentioned, I'd have him in the nine. I'd have Cook in the camp. I'd have Cook potentially coming to the side as a late inclusion if you think it's the right choice. But I personally would have currently put Api Korosau in the nine. And in jersey number 19, he's been okay this season, but I thought it was a really interesting choice from the South Sydney Rabbitoh. It's Campbell Graham. I think of this New South Wales Blues team, well, I think it's a really solid team for the most part. You've gone with some... Good experience and trust in those combinations in Cleary, Tedesco, uh, even Travojevic in centre. He's played that centre role before and he absolutely killed it in game two of 2019. Had a ripper of a game. The only thing, even though it's great to have Jake Travojevic, Cameron Murray and Isaiah Yo in the side, I just don't know about having three lock forwards out of positions. is a little bit funny. And I'll wait until I see the Queensland forwards, but players like Moe Fotawaka, David Fafida, up against these players could make it really a big advantage for Queensland. Speaking of a big advantage for Queensland, game one next week is moved officially from the MCG to Townsville. But Brad Fittler, he's got the Blues team. It looks quite good. Let me know in the comments what you think of the New South Wales Blues team, and soon I'll be putting out my Origin video. As I said, make sure you message me, especially on the Instagram at the Entertain House. I'll try and get through those message requests because we're getting... We're growing, and we're getting plenty of you messaging me. If you guys do want some official merch, that will probably come out maybe next Tuesday for next Tuesday's tips. Anyway, guys, make sure you do like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys.